Hello everyone and welcome back to Welcome Grove Homestead. Today we're going to teach you how to build a pig shelter made out of cattle panel and every bit step to step what you'll need and how these pigs can stay dry and warm in inclement weather. We're going to do this together now and we'll tell you every piece so get something to write it down or just come back and reference this video as you go. Uh, it should be fairly step by step with exact measurements, parts, etc. So during our own journey on how we uh, came to this specific design, uh, which involved a little bit of trial and error and just kind of looking at what else is out there, we have decided to build this particular model. And, and you're only going to need one 16 foot piece of uh, cattle panel. Uh, and the reason is you're going to cut it in half and it's going to be a shelter for approximately three market hogs. We are going to be using them for our Idaho pasture pigs. We're going to be using them for our Yorkshire Berkshire crosses. Uh, and this kind of shelter is big enough for them at their younger ages. Now, if you're growing hogs that are going to be in the 600, 700 pound range, this is probably not going to fit more than like one of them. So kind of keep that in mind and you can make it larger, you can make it uh, wider, and I'll show you the places where you can extend it if that's the design you want to do. Uh, what we're going to have in, in the end is going to be approximately eight feet wide by five feet uh, deep. So the cattle panel is going to be just standing about four feet tall in the end. And we'll show you how that all that looks, uh, how it's going to keep them safe. <laughs> and uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to get right over to the cutting of that cattle panel so you can see how we take that 16 footer and cut it down to eight, two eight foot pieces. Using your tape measure, obviously you're going to find the single piece that it lands you right in the middle of this 16 foot uh, cattle panel. Now, obviously, if I were to cut straight down, one side, this is going to leave one side with spikes and one side with a nice solid bar. We don't want that to happen because then obviously we're going to have just spikes that aren't going to be able to be held in. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut halfway down on one side, halfway down the other, and then just one little slit right in the middle. To do this cutting, I'm going to just use some simple bolt cutters. Works like a charm. And then right here, that's where we cut the middle. Now we have two basically duplicate eight foot pieces that we'll run side by side. Like so. So after swapping around one side of the cattle panel, you'll see that the pointy end, we have just a few spikes here and the other pointy end has the spikes down at the other end and we've turned it so we split the difference. We are then gonna overlap this panel so it is approximately going to be 92 inches long and in a minute you'll see why that's important to keep that in uh, in uh, in mind it's seven feet eight inches and so that's going to be the interior side of our pig shelter next you're going to need two five foot two by sixes and two nine and a half foot two by sixes well here we are inside of a pig shelter if we're using our imaginations here but if you can imagine a metal hoop going over us we would be sitting inside of it. This area is five feet wide inside and seven foot, eight inches on the outside. Now you'll notice right behind me, back there, we have two uh, pieces sticking out about a foot and a half, and that is for our wheels. Uh, the reason we have these wheel pe pegs sticking out is to ease us in uh, as we move it. We're gonna put some 10 inch wheels on there and uh, it will be transportable around. Uh, if you've ever had pigs, you know, they kind of go through pasture areas. Sometimes, depending on the pig, they'll root it up. And so you do want to be able to move their shelter uh, to and from new uh, pig uh, pasture areas. So we're going to start bolting this together. We're going to use some lag bolts in each side, and uh, we will go ahead and uh, get this thing all constructed and then start with the roof. Ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. From your local box store, you get four inch, three eighths inch lag bolts. You're gonna need eight of them. As you may be able to hear, the rain has started. But what I'm gonna do in the meantime, if you can hear me, I'm sure you can, is I'm gonna drill out starter holes uh, for these lag bolts, just so that we're not fighting it all the way in. I've marked where my spots are on both, both ends, and I'm just gonna do Just some holes like so, and then we'll know we can go right in there when we're ready. Now we're gonna get these lag bolts all started. Three eighths inch bolt, four inches long, one washer, and we're gonna put eight of these on all these boards all the way around, two at each location. Just 
starting them off. Now preferably you'd have a nice flat surface. We don't, we're using our driveway. Much like you, we probably don't have the most ideal, but we got the right idea anyway. <laughs> Next, you're gonna to wanna to cut two seven foot, five inch long boards that are five inches wide. You're gonna need a carriage bolt that is three inches long with a washer and a nut. These are all gonna be uh, three eighths inch. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, and six of those. Some washers and nuts for each. Next, you're gonna drag your pieces of cattle panel over and we're gonna draw some holes, uh, drill some holes right on the edge of the board uh, where it's lined up so you're not drilling a bolt in right where there's a piece of steel. Uh, we're gonna, we've got that all marked off now with the Sharpie and we're gonna drill some starter holes. The carriage bolts are gonna go in those holes and hold that metal in place. All right, it's time for a dad joke. No, I don't have one of those. <laughs> I'm disgruntled right now, sorry. Anyway, it's time to put this lid on this uh, cattle panel uh, pig shelter. We're gonna bend this over. I've enlisted the help of Nathan to help us uh, bend it in place and hold it in place. And then uh, we will take those, uh, those bolts, those carriage bolts, and just put it right through uh, the two pieces of wood, which is gonna sandwich that metal in there. Uh, and that's what's gonna hold it in place so it doesn't just like spring out and shoot. Uh, you'll notice if you do this and as you watch, that cattle panel is gonna get real tight and springy. And if you don't hold it in place with something like a bolt, it will spring away. So our goal is to kind of sandwich that in and crank it down real tight. And we're gonna do that right now. Let's go guys. As you can see, these eight foot panels are slightly overlapped right here. The reason they're overlapped is twofold. One, we could have gone all the way out where it's four feet in each direction, but that would have left nothing here. This is allowing some stabilization uh, between the two. So uh, because remember they were not cut with steel at the very bottom of the whole rung, uh, this is gonna kind of hold it all in place and it's only overlapping one little section. It's just a little more stability so the pigs don't just beat it up and spring it out. As you can see, we are bolting from this side through to the outside. The outside of the board is where the nuts and the washers are going to be. The inside is going to have a very rounded surface. Those carriage bolts have a round head, uh, so there's nothing to poke the pigs as they're inside the home. So here we go, this is what it looks like uh, when it's basically done. This is right now just a shelter, no roof obviously. We're gonna talk about wheels next. We're gonna put on some 10 inch wheels. For our wheels, as I mentioned earlier, we have these 10, or well, nine and a half inch posts. Uh, we have two feet sticking out the back end and we are gonna drill some uh, three quarter inch holes right here uh, for these wheels. Uh, it's about three inches in, three inches down, and we're just basically gonna uh, center this wheel on that board. The reason we have this extra length here is so that uh, as you're dragging it, there's clearance if you're dragging it over things and around things. Uh, it's really a bear to drag these heavy wooden and metal uh, pig houses when there's like no wheels. Uh, it's just a lot of extra weight. Then of course you can hook up some kind of chain or drag it behind a tractor or a quad or a child, whatever uh, your best mode of moving these things around is. Uh, but we're gonna start with drilling our hole. We are then gonna put our uh, bolt in through the wheel. You saw how that kind of went in. It's gonna go almost through the board, but first we're gonna put a spacer in, like so. And we're gonna put it through this board here. And on the other end, we're gonna put a three quarter inch washer and a stop nut. Now these stop nuts have that plastic uh, ring inside so that it won't slip off uh, as we drag it around. Well, if you have got this far with the project and you're ready to get a tarp cover on it, I want to kind of give you an idea of how we have got this tarp cover on. So first you nail or screw with the washers all around the outside. And this is kind of one of those things that uh, generally when I've seen videos on how to make these things, people have just said, just put tarp on it. And that 
process is kind of cumbersome to make sure it's kept tight. So I want to show you the few tricks that we have. First, every time you put a tarp on, make sure you use something like this plastic tarp that has reinforcement. Um, we used uh, a tarp that was designed to be, um, I guess, covering lumber on a railroad car. So something that is really wind resistant. And I highly recommend something like that. One of the blue or silver tarps you might find at a box store is going to be, uh, I won't say rip resistant. So you want to find something that's a little more rip resistant, not something uh, cheap. So thick is good, reinforce is better. Obviously, if they chew on it, that's super important as well. Uh, but anytime you nail it on, you want to go all the way down here with a bunch of screws. We have a screw every eight inches, and that's just kind of where we get that real tight look from on it. And it's going to be reinforced with a washer so the screw just doesn't rip through. And we do that all the way down the whole long length. Secondly, at the, at, at the entrances, we have zip ties every single bar at the bar and in the middle. So that way it's kept nice and tight and you kind of just punch through with a nail or something like that all the way around and down. And the final product looks like this with the little piggies happily in the background. Uh, when it rains, as it was just a little bit earlier, uh, the pigs go inside of it. It's a fantastic final product. Really happy with it. <laughs> Well, thank you for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed this little how-to on building our pig shelter. Uh, pigs obviously are enjoying it. We've made a, a couple of them now and we'll probably make more as we spread our pigs out across our land. Uh, and like I said, this is gonna be a great size for something similar to uh, Idaho pasture pigs and, and smaller breeds for sure. You can have up to probably three or four comfortably in there. Uh, if you're looking at something larger, something um, or, or more of them, I'm going to really recommend you go even uh, wider. Instead of using a five foot board, go like a seven or an eight foot and some extensions. You might need something like a corner brace or something that wide because when you move it, obviously bumps are going to jostle it. Uh, but be creative. That's kind of what we did. We saw what was out there and look what we built. Our, our pigs are literally in there right now uh, enjoying a snack and they're staying dry in this kind of rainy day. Uh, thanks for hanging out. It was fun to build. Appreciate the help from Dale and the kiddos popping in. And I wish you the best in all of your projects. As always, this is the home of the country nerd of the goat herd and a bunch of pigs who are staying dry. Saying, you, you can, can grow, grow where you're, you're planted. planted.